I will always love you. It all started with a note taped to his locker. Meet me at Bro's Cafe, 7 p.m. Jake didn't have to guess who it was from. He knew. He looked down the hallway, searching for Dirk, but he was nowhere to be seen. Probably long gone from school by now. Jake was glad. Well, sort of. After everything that he had done to Dirk, he was surprised that he would even want to talk to him. He liked to think that he hadn't done anything bad, but he knew the truth. He should have been more open, been willing to talk to Dirk, but he had been too scared. As weak as it is to say, he had been so scared to talk to Dirk, not wanting him to hate him and not knowing what to say. He had never been in a relationship before. He was just a confused teenage boy. It had been just a bit too much. Jake sighs as he grabs his bag from the locker, leaving the building, his feet dragging and his heart heavy. Pro's Cafe was small, just a tiny coffee shop in a back alley. There was nothing spectacular about the cafe. There was a bar with a few stools, a few tables, and a couch. The walls were covered in art that customers had drawn in Sharpies, watercolors, anything they can get their hands on. The stage took up most of the space, set in the back with an upright piano that people would occasionally come in to play. It was a Tuesday. Mike night, so it was a little more crowded than usual as Jake walked in. He glanced around, his heart racing fast, palms sweaty. But he could do this. He was nothing if not a gentleman, and he would listen to what Dirk had to say, if he could find Dirk. The cafe wasn't packed, but there were few, if any, open seats, and all the tables were full, but for one towards the front. A piece of paper folded in half was sitting on top of. Curiosity getting the better of him, Jake went to the table reading the paper reserved for Jake English. Jake's throat went dry as he searched around trying to spot him. Dirk shouldn't have been so hard to find. He never was in the crowd, but at that moment he was nowhere to be seen. With nothing left to do, Jake sat down, directly in front of the stage. He waited, glancing at his wristwatch every few seconds, worry gnawing at his stomach. He could do this. He could really talk to Dirk. They could clear the air. Maybe, maybe even be friends again because he would hate to lose Dirk as a friend. The lights dimmed, slowly fading until there was only the soft glow of the stage lights illuminating the cafe. Jake's insides twisted further into a knot as he saw Dirk walk on stage. He wasn't wearing his shades. As he came to stand in front of the mic, Dirk looked at Jake, orange eyes meeting green ones, staring. His face was blank, but still tight with so much unexpressed emotion. Dirk's fist clenched tight as he was the first to look away. Frustration, anger, confusion, written all over his face as he squeezed his eyes shut. After a moment, his shoulders relaxed, face soothing out once more as he grabbed the mic, gently cradling it in his hand. There was silence in the cafe as everyone waited. Jake's hand shook, not knowing what Dirk was going to do. He Should stay I would only be Your way So I His voice was husky and soft Floating through the cafe But I know I'll think of you Every step of the way There was the soft tone of the piano And I That is all I am taking with me So goodbye Please don't cry We both know I'm not what you You need And I
wishing you joy and happiness. But above all this, I wish you. Darling, I love you.